Julian Finalize, if you've got runner's knee, I got a couple of exercises that you can do to help alleviate that pain. So Sam or Samantha, I don't know what you go by, but this one is for you. Check it out. Um, pain tends to be on the inside of the knee a lot of the way you're landing uh, when you're running. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to focus on releasing the upper thigh and the glute and the hip. If you haven't seen my video on uh, how to release the pain in the back of the knee uh, for the lower half, so the bottom of the foot and the calf, you should do those as well just as a precautionary. But this one specifically, we're going to focus on uh, building up the quad strength and the glute strength um, because that's going to be able to help protect your knee. Cool? So what you're going to need to start off with is an MV5 ball. Again, if you don't have one, um, you can use a softball, you can use a lacrosse ball, you can use a basketball, a medicine ball, any kind of ball. Um, if not, what you can do is grab a um, stick and you can just try to stimulate and just try to rub uh, the thigh just to try to release any of the pain that you may have in there. But this ball I find works much more effectively to get into the tight spots because a lot of times you could be rubbing it and you're like, I don't really feel anything. But then as soon as you lay on the ball, you're like, oh, I do feel something. So that's why the ball gets handy. Um, this is a Grace Fit ball. I love their ball with, uh, with the spikies on it. It just gives you a little bit more stimulation. Uh, you can obviously get trigger point. They sell these on Amazon. Just search, search for five inch massage ball. Cool. All right. So what you're going to do to start off is we're going to start uh, face down. I'm on this map because I'm the, <laughs> the ball is black and I'm wearing black. And so hopefully you can kind of see me, but I'm going to go on an angle. But what we're going to do is we're going to start right about a quarter of the way down the thigh. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay on it uh, about a third of the way down. You can keep your knee on the ground if your leg is long enough. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your heel to your bum. Okay. So whenever we're doing trigger point, we always add movement. Okay, so I'm going to do about five of these and then I'm going to do the hard part, which is go in and out, keeping my heel up towards the sky. So we're just going to rock back and forth. So that's not going to feel too hot. If this hurts your back, you can actually lay all the way on the ground if you need to. Again, bringing your heel to your bum up and down about five times and then drop it in and out. Okay, so when we go like that, so we're by going back and forth, you're working. Uh, there's four muscles here, so we're just working on. Uh, breaking down any tissue or any uh, knots that we may have developed from all that running. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna work your way down to what's called the VMO here. So the vastus medialis obliquus, it's a quad muscle. Basically, it just sounds really cool. And then how to do that one is that you're gonna lay on your side. You put your knee down again. Add pressure here. Push your knee into the floor. Bring that heel to your bum. Okay, so you're just gonna go back and forth about five times, and then you can try to roll it like this. This one tends to be very very, very tender. Okay. So if you have runner's knee, this is what, which one, this one, this muscle is actually weak. So we need to get some blood flow there and it's weak because your bum is not firing. So we need to get that rocking and rolling. Okay. We'll get there next. Okay. So you should not spend more than 30 to 60 seconds, any of those spots. Um, simply because we don't want to break down the tissue too much and you don't want to bruise yourself. So just work your way. So thir uh, third of the way thigh and just work your way down inside towards that VMO. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do your glutes. So we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna to go to your bum. You're gonna sit on the ball. Again, find the tender spot. There's gonna be lots of different tender spots here. So you're gonna drop your knee side to side, bring your knee up towards your chest here. Okay, so again, find the tender spots. Again, 30 to 60 seconds, you're gonna kind of roll around and see if you can find that tender spot. If this is too hard on the, on the wrist, more than welcome to drop to your elbow. Turn to your side, that glute medius is not going to feel good, especially if you've got runner knee pain. This is going to suck. I'm going to tell you, focus on your breathing. It's going to take your breath away. You're going to be like, oh, focus on your breathing. That, that apprehension and that hold is that fight system, and we need it to relax, okay? So again, keep making sure you're adding that movement however you can, okay? So just try to do like that runner's motion if you can. All right. So also, <laughs> when you're doing this one, make sure that shoulder is down so that you're not... Um, getting too much into the trap here. Okay, okay it's cool. All right, so we've got some stimulation in the thigh and into the bum. So a couple exercises that you can do. So what you're gonna need is like a towel. I just have like a small, a travel roller here. And what we're gonna do is called the passive knee extension. So what you do is you place your knee directly underneath the roller or the towel. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna focus on flexing your quad, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flex your quad. Your knee may slightly go up. You're not lifting from the foot. You're actually thinking about squeezing your thigh. So hold on to it and squeeze it. Squeeze it as hard as you can. Squeeze it. Okay, you're just gonna squeeze. We're gonna do about 10 of these guys. So this is a passive knee extension. This is really good for building up that quad strength. Cool, just squeeze, squeeze, and do, like I said, do up to 10 of them, okay? So we can also do it from the ankles. So if I do it down here, 
I can work on just squeezing my thigh here. So it's, it's like I'm almost pushing my knee, but I'm not gonna hyperextend my knee because you might feel some pain there. So again, I'm just trying to work on flexing up that, that quad. Again, we need to work on strengthening up that VMO. So we're just gonna start these basic ones. There's lots of exercise that we can do specifically for the VMO, um, but uh, for now, we'll just start with these basic exercises, okay? So again, you're just squeezing. Think about pu um, pushing your knee back and then thigh on. So what may do this and you're like, my thigh's not going. I'm feeling like I'm using my hip or my whole leg or I'm trying to move my foot or all this stuff. So this actually may be very difficult. So you really have to focus and concentrate to try to get that thigh, especially if you do both sides, you'll notice that the pain of uh, the knee that has the pain is going to be much harder than the one that doesn't. And that's part of the problem is that we need to work on building up that quad strength. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is a uh, clamp. So again, another hard one, especially when you get not used to firing the glutes. So this one is laying on the side. So uh, a couple different things that you can do to help you figure this one out is um, what I've done is have people push against a wall. So how much you bend your knee will make a difference with this. So you're going to have to experiment with this one. It's very easy to cheat, but I'm just going to push my feet against my rack here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my heels together. I'm going to think about turning my abs on. So I'm going to squeeze my abs nice and tight. So I'm pushing my rib cage down pushing my help my uh, pelvis up so they're locking it together. I'm gonna think about squeezing my bum and then I'm gonna lift my leg. So I'm pushing, so push my heels, brace my core, squeeze my bum and lift my leg. So a lot of people when they do this, they're like woo hoo So that's more external rotation. I don't want your external rotators, I want your glutes. Okay, so we're gonna push, by pushing, it focuses on that posterior chain. Okay, we're gonna squeeze that bum and then you're gonna lift. You can see when I'm actually, when I do it properly, that's as high as I can go. That means that's the glute right there. So you're gonna feel some heat. So I put my hand on my bum and you're gonna feel some heat back here. If you're feeling, if you put your hand on the front and you feel this get tight, that's not good. That's part of the problem is that your quad is firing for your bum. And then that's why we need to do that trigger point release to try to release that, cool? So you need to focus on getting that bum to fire. So squeeze that glute without turning on your thigh. You can, sometimes you can see it. So if I squeeze really hard and I do it wrong, I can see my thigh actually try to fire instead of my bum. This will take concentration, so you may have to do like 20, 30, 40, whatever times for your bum to be able to fire it up. But once you do, you'll feel that heat there. Cool? And then you're gonna to switch to the other side. So just doing those two exercises and the release, we're gonna start with that. That should help with some uh, runner's knee pain um, if you're having that. And again, I'll uh, link to my, my pain behind the knee video so that you can um, you do that as well because the bottom of your feet are uh, a problem as well probably from your running shoes and the way that you are actually running. So there's, you know, there's, that's a whole different video, but um, we can talk about that later if you'd like. But anyway, so do the bottom of your feet and your calves as well to help protect the knee. Cool. Any questions about that? Please let me know. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you do follow me on social media. Stay tuned for other future videos. I inspire movement because aging doesn't have to be painful. How you move does matter. So I'm here to help you improve how you move on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.